Welcome to the new channel, Stay Sprung. This channel is all about timepieces and wristwatches and an even closer look than usual. Certain models that beginners and entry level collectors may have questions about or may not even know these models exist. Today, I want to take a quick look at the Max Bill Chronoscope by Jung Hans. This model, which is a minimalist automatic style inspired by Max Bill's original creations with Jung Hans in the 1950s. The chronoscope's dial is 40 millimeters which is basically all glass, with about three-fourths mil in stainless steel dedicated to holding the watch's plexiglass coated crystal. On the dial are hour and minute hands accompanied by Max Bill's numerals, clearly seen on the four and the seven, located on hour and minute indices. Located at the 12 and six o'clock positions are the 30 minute and 12 hour subdials. The face, which is said to be white, appears in my opinion to have a metallic flaked finish. And finally, we have the date complication. On the rear, we have a closed case back made of stainless steel with Max Bill engraved. And underneath, at the heart of the timepiece, sits a Valju 7750, which boasts a 42 hour power reserve. The 20 millimeter base strap is signed on the inner, but not on the clasp nor the crown. The Max Bill chrono stands at 14.4 mils tall, but wears snug and fit to the wrist. The loom is very minimal on the Max Bill. The hour and minute hands have superluminova and only single loom dots at the 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions and dual dots at the 12 o'clock position. The chronoscope has no running second hands and while the timer is engaged, the chrono seconds hand doesn't stop after 30 seconds or one minute. Something to note, this will decrease the time it takes to absolve the power reserve when left running. Overall, I love this watch and it remains on a must have list in my startup collection. Since the day I've laid eyes on this watch, it's had a hold on me. And as far as for entry level collectors, the plexiglass coated crystal is a bone of contention with some enthusiasts and buyers, but for myself I can definitely overlook that issue. While it won't be as durable or scratch proof as sapphire crystal, I believe with such a convex crystal, the sapphi would distort the dial around the edges. Also only being 30 meters water resistant, which means virtually no water resistance at all, this isn't the everyday climate type of wear. I wouldn't wear this piece in the rain or even in humid and moist environments. So being the office piece or special dress occasion, this isn't that everyday attire watch. So its versatility is kind of low. Just a couple of things to keep in mind when starting a watch collection. And finally, the price point is a little bit more than $1,800 retail. And as of late, I've seen this watch go for as high as $2,300. So that may be a bit much to ask for something with virtually no ATM rating and no sapphire crystal. Well, personally, I didn't want this piece because of some precious material it had been comprised of, or for its diving features for that matter, but purely because of its role it played in watch history and the Jung Hans heritage along with its truly astonishing aesthetics. Simply put, the only things here you'll see are the things you need to see. There's no clutter, no bunching of useless markings and decor, or excessive loom slapped everywhere. While I will admit, don't get me wrong, the dial is very, very busy. Everything has its place and it's put there perfectly, in my opinion. If I could change anything about this timepiece, I would only add a signed crown and clasp with an exhibition case on the back. But again, a true minimalist would say, the signed crown and clasp has no true purpose, so there is no need in the redundant stamp. And myself, who loves aesthetics, would just hate to put an exhibition case on the max bill, only to be let down by an unsigned, under-decorated, huge 7750 rotor. All in all, this is definitely one of my favorite pieces out of the bunch, at least for the moment. And I would definitely recommend this piece for anyone who is trying to start a serious Swiss timepiece or automatic watch collection. Please leave a comment to your thoughts on the Max Bill Chronoscope. And also, if you own one, where does yours rate in your collection? And how often do you wear your piece? And please join in next time as I take a close look at the 40 millimeter open heart classic moon phase beauty by Frederick Constant. And remember, stay sprung, my friends.